Okay, today I'm going to be filling up water balloons with shaving cream and putting them in my vacuum chamber. Doing this makes me think, why have I never had a water balloon fight with shaving cream before? Sounds like fun. Okay, you ready for this? So as I remove the pressure from the vacuum chamber, the pressure from inside of the balloon should expand it until they pop. So shaving cream is a good thing to use because it has a lot of tiny air bubbles in there. Those air bubbles will expand, expand as I remove the air from the chamber. Okay, shaving cream water balloons in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> They're gonna blow. <laughs> Getting big. Which one will go first? Which one? Whoa! Hey, they all went at the same time. <laughs> that was cool. Let's see how big it continues to get. It's gonna fill up our whole chamber. Whoa! Whoa, look at it fill up the whole thing. There it goes. Okay, it <laughs> filled up the whole chamber. <laughs> look at that. Okay, that little amount of shaving cream filled up our whole chamber, look at that. That's cool. So it's cool, you can see how big the individual bubbles got in there. Normally shaving cream is just kind of creamy looking, you can't even see individual bubbles. But look how big each individual bubble is now. That's pretty cool. It almost looks like soap bubbles now, they're so big. See right in there, you can tell. Okay, now let's see what happens when we lit in air. So we're gonna increase the pressure in the chamber now. Where'd all our shaving cream go? <laughs> so that's really cool. Filled up the whole chamber and then as soon as we opened it, there's only a little bit at the bottom now. So really the whole time there was the same amount of gas in the shaving cream the whole time. The volume just increased, but then when I increased the pressure, the volume decreased back to its original size. Hey, thanks for watching again. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit subscribe. And if you want to comment in the comments section with anything you'd like to see me put in the vacuum chamber or crush in my hydraulic press, feel free to, and I'll see you next time.